Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernard, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at an unboxing for Volcano Island Countdown. This is an interesting one I found recently. Obviously, you guys know I love the Indiana Jones theme, and this has a cool volcano. Now, the interesting part about this game is it has an electronic volcano. It has these little pieces that you slide into it, I believe. It almost reminds me, see, it's like these little tokens here. It almost reminds me of like that Omega virus kind of feel, and it plays in 30 minutes or less um that would be the maximum amount of time so that is right up my alley let's take a look here at what we got sure sorry it's just getting this open it's childproof all right we're good yeah boy This is a cool one. Such an interesting component. Let's see. This is like the instructions, table of contents. God, it has like this little tiki piece too. Ugh, I love the components. Just such a cool idea. This is almost like a modern vintage game in a sense. It has that same feel or same expectations I would have for a vintage game. Let's take a look at the board design here first. That's what I want to see. Oh, interesting. It's almost like I expect it to be painted and it might actually be, but it has that realistic 3D design look, almost like they took a real picture from an island. Very interesting. It's definitely like a mixture of like uh, 3D design. They definitely went for a more realistic look here um, with the textures and design elements they added, such as that water looking really uh, more on the realistic side. That's pretty cool. A uh, very simple board um, on the smaller side. I'm a fan of that part already. Um, let me pull this aside and take a look at some of these components. Let's see, I'm probably gonna keep that piece just in case. Um, but yeah, you can see the little tiki piece here. That is so cool. This is such an such an interesting idea. I'm sure I'm gonna need batteries for it. All right, so we got stuff there. I'm just gonna kind of lift up because it's weird. Some games seem to have stuff under here. Um, I forget what game it was that had something hidden in one of these little side tuck areas where I would have never known. Had I not just been curious. All right, so these are the other pieces. This is like that lava piece almost. That looks cool. I'm guessing this just slides right on top. Um, not too sure how. Something like that, maybe? Ooh, like that. Cool, ah, I love that. That's such a beautiful piece here. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, so I saw here, it looked like these are stickers, and I'm guessing these stick into, so you got these really standard looking peeps here. Might play it with miniatures, but I do kind of like these guys. It's definitely kind of a breath of fresh air to be a more simplistic version of the old standees, and at the very least, they're plastic. I could respect that. Look at that detail on that Tiki got too. Oh, that is so cool. And then these are the little token pieces you slide into it. It's like a little question marks. Oh, yep, they're all question marks. See, I, don't, I only know a little bit about the game. I watched um, kind of a synopsis of the game, but I've not played it or really seen too, too much on the, on the gameplay. Very interesting. These are like stickers. Oh, so these look like they go on this side of this um, plastic token. And the back is the question mark because you don't know what token it is. That makes a lot of sense. And this is interesting. I don't see this too often, where there's these little punch out pieces that are already punched out. I know it sounds minor, but it's the little thing sometimes, not having to have all those little punch board pieces out. I'm gonna pull the dice out and put these back in because I don't want them to get scattered everywhere. And this interesting looking dice here. Huh, this is cool. I like this. 
I just like the shape. It really fits with the theme. I don't know how to describe it. Something about it almost shaped like a jewel. Huh, it's so cool. Um, yeah, and then finally we have these cards. Again, I'm not too sure how everything's incorporated yet, but... Sorry, I'm gonna be weird and smell the cards. Ah, I love the smell of new cards. Ooh, backpack, backpack, yay! All right, banana for boots. Just kidding. Oh, these look like items. I'm guessing these are some of the items you may need to kind of get ahead in the game in advance. Ooh, bug spray? What is going on? That's interesting. Oh, this is super cool. I'm very excited um, to get this to the table. Um, but yeah, have any of you guys played this game? Is this something um, you guys were familiar with? I'd definitely be interested in hearing more about that in the comments section. Um, but that's honestly all I have for you guys today. If you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous. And with your guys' help, I have been doing so. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. And that is all I have today. I will see you guys next time.